What up? Thank you guys for checking us out today. Today we're going to be talking about some more painting. Uh, the last couple of weeks we talked about painting tips and then how to paint an accent wall pretty fast. So today I'm going to give you guys some tips on painting trim that is next to hardwood and carpet. So I'm going to do it by hand because I'm guessing not a lot of people have a sprayer sitting around in the garage. So I'm going to show you guys how we paint trim where there's hardwood or laminate tile and also how we paint the trim where there is carpet and it's basically the same. Uh, if you like the channel, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that like, hit that subscribe down below, leave us a comment, all of that helps with the growth of the channel and you guys are very greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so back here we have our stairs. They're getting kind of dirty. I'm gonna touch up around the bottom, around the stairs, all the white. Um, so I just thought I'd show you guys how to tape off those edges so that you don't get the carpet dirty. You don't get it sticking to the trim. And then we also have areas around the hardwood or I mean the laminate that has gotten dirty and it just needs a touch up and so let's go ahead and let me give you some tips on how to paint this trim by hand so first of all preparation of course uh, so for painting tips if you haven't checked out our painting tips video the link is up above we've got our handy cup and our Wooster brush here. And that's all we're gonna use, that and some tape. I'm using half inch. Probably be better to use one inch, but I just had half inch. And some paint, and that's all we'll be using. Of course, our wet rag. So, let's grab the paint and let's get started. All right, guys. Got our rag, brush, and you wanna use a small cup, small container, and I filled mine about third of the way. You don't really want to do much more than that in case an accident were to happen and you tip it over. It'll be less paint to pick up and yeah. So let's go ahead and get this little area taped off and I'll show you guys how to tape it off right now. All right guys, so got our tape. And this is the piece of trim that's dirty. Well, all of it's dirty, but this is the one I'm gonna show you guys on. So we're just taking it, trying to get it as close as possible, just leaving a little edge to go under there. If you can slide it under there, that's better. That's it. All right. Next, we're gonna take the brush and we're gonna make the line by hand. First, what I like to do is dip the brush. And I like to have paint on one side. So I wipe one side off and the side that I'm gonna make the line with, I like to have paint on. But first, I go along the bottom of the trim and put paint on that to make it easier for the brush to kind of uh, roll through. I'll show you guys up close right now. Alright, so this is what I mean. First, and I like to use a stiffer brush, uh, it just depends. Then after that face is done, then I'll come in with the paint, with the brush, and do the top. All 
All right, guys. So my other file for some reason didn't work. I'm gonna show you guys again on this little piece. I'm going to paint all the trim in here, so I'm going to go back and fill all this. This is just to show you guys. I figured I'd show you guys before I started working. And you're going to go. I like to do this part first to make it smoother for my brush once I want to do the line. do a first pass with some paint and then I'll come back and make the line. Take off the tape while it's still wet. And then we got our rag for any little drips. Alright guys, for the carpet part, um, there's two ways you can do this. You can get a paint guard, which is a long either plastic or metal piece that you can slide along the edge of the carpet to cover it while you're painting. Um, I don't have one, but I have this spatula just to show you guys. So you slide it in between or under the trim and you use it. And as you're painting, you're moving it along. As you can see right here, it pushes the carpet down. Um, you can also use a uh, drywall knife if you have an extra one. So that, that's one option. I don't have one here with me. We have one at the shop, but I don't have it here. And the other option is to tape it off. Um, same thing. You want to tuck it in. And push it down. Into the edge um, if, if it's trim you'll be able to tuck it in underneath all right and same thing try not to let it drip Too much on the on the tape and don't let that tape uh, dry on there as soon as you're done with the piece take it off so then 
the tape when you pull it off it'll fluff the carpet back up and bring it back up and that's it guys pretty simple easy little tips to paint your trim by hand in your house if you need a little touch up if it's getting dirty and you just want to touch it up all right guys if you like the video uh, first of all thank you for watching thank you guys for taking the time to click on my video and take a look at it I know this wasn't very exciting it's not a lot but I've got a lot of big things going on right now we'll get some more uh, DIY projects and a big surprise project coming up so thank you guys for putting up with these smaller videos um, and I hope these painting tips help you out uh, help you get some maintenance done around the house before the holidays because they're coming up already so thank you guys for checking it out if you like it hit that like hit that subscribe down below uh, leave a comment if you know a better way if you have any tips as well or if there's something specific you want to see let me know guys thank you guys for checking the channel out we'll see you guys next week